weekend that would have had a lot more visitors on the slopes, but Saturday's bitter cold temps and today's wind posed some challenges for ski resorts. Local 22's Jolie Sherman reports tonight from Bolton. We're back at Bolton Valley Ski Resort where staff and skiers are seeing significant snowfall and some wind. I spoke with a few ski resorts across the state to see how they're managing these winter conditions. Windy, gusty temperatures resulted in a wind hold at Bolton Valley Monday morning, which kept all lift lines down for nearly two hours. But once they were up and running, Vermonters made use of the snowy conditions. Like opening day. <laughs> this is the first day of the season. Season starts now. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're stoked. A family from Jericho spent their Monday at Bolton and couldn't wait to do a few runs. Having this, this extra snow finally got us in there. It's, it's a lot more fun, a lot more pleasant if you do fall because it's a soft cushion. Um, but it, uh, and it allows us to go in the woods, which is what we've been kind of waiting for. We like to ski in the woods a lot. Ski resorts around the state face similar challenges with the wind. At Burke Mountain, it caused a power outage in the area and closed down the resort. Whereas Killington and Sugarbush had to close a couple lifts. But resorts are welcoming the fresh snow. Some are even used to seeing this weather this time of year. We got a big storm during MLK. This is actually our, our third MLK storm in a row. Public relations manager John Blay says while Sugarbush had to scale back some operations, he says almost 111 trails are open. And, and that's true for Killington. More than half are already open, and they expect all 155 trails to be available by this weekend. People have been waiting so long for this, right? Like, the last dump we had was Thanksgiving weekend. Um, been waiting for a powder day. The snowfall is good news for ski resorts across the state, as it'll mean more trails and lifts will open. In Bolton, Jolie Sherman, 